learning at the Kenyatta University has been suspended for three days in honor of the 11 students who perished in a tragic road accident Monday night in Voi. The university's vice chancellor says the three days will enable the university community mourn the departed. The students perished as they traveled to Mombasa for an academic trip. Brenda Wanga reports on the ill-fated trip that has left scores nursing injuries and shattered dreams of some 11 families. Frantic efforts to get injured students to the capital city for more advanced medical care. These are some of the 11 students whose injuries from last night's tragic bus crash required more specialized treatment that wasn't available in Voim. The students, all from Kenyatta University School of Health Sciences, the Department of Health Management and Informatics, had their journey tragically cut short last night at Maungo along the Mombasa Nairobi Highway. Survivors say the journey was going on swiftly until the unexpected happened. The road was a bit slippery, so our driver had a book overtake, but I think I found an oncoming vehicle, so I could break a radical lane. But Kulkwana Trele Makuja Numa at full speed, so I got gonga uh, the left side of the bus. When it Kwa Numa, I think we had the greatest impact of the crash. So I remember people shouting, uh, trying to warn the driver of an incoming truck. Yeah. Uh, then the next thing I heard was a loud bang. Then I was just flying outside. Some of them who were awake and alert at the time of the crash say the collision could have been much worse. I would just love to urge the drivers to be a little bit more careful, especially carrying a large number of people. Yeah, you will be considerate of the people in the car, even if you are in a hurry, you will try to be careful. Ten of the students perished on the spot. One more succumbed to injuries on arrival at the hospital, where the rest of the students were first attended to. Parents of the students, stunned by news of the accident, made the journey to Voi to find out about the state of their children. The university is vice chancellor swiftly changing roles from the chief administrator to the chief comforter was in Voi to visit with the injured, assess the situation, and lead plans for evacuation of the seriously injured and the remains of the departed back to the university's funeral home. Back at the university, those seeking information about their kin on the ill-fated bus have been accommodated at a facility that will serve as a help desk centre and already relatives are streaming in for help that is being offered by the university. And, uh... They said that he was also part of the of the travelling team, so he, I was asked to come and inquire to see if the status if he's okay or, or if there's anything that has happened to him. When we debrief, we are able to prepare them to um, to process their emotions because there will be very many emotions involved here. There will be sorrow, there will be anger, there will be questions. So we need to help them to first acknowledge their emotions and be able to express them and process them so that they don't get stuck in this. So psychological support, debriefing is very, very important and we are, we are doing it. Seven seriously injured students were airlifted to Nairobi and are receiving medical care at a city hospital. They were brought to Nairobi in two different flights. Another 16 with less serious injuries are being transported to the same hospital for care. While the injured get treatment and care, and as the deceased bodies get transported to Nairobi, the university has announced that there will be no learning at the institution for the next three days. The university in a statement says that the management has decided to suspend all classes for three days beginning Wednesday 20th March 2024 to enable us mourn our beloved students. The university's administration now says it is offering support to those who are seeking answers to what happened miles away, a tragedy that has left the student community here shaken. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV at the Kenyatta University.